John Schneider's devoted fans are rallying to support the beloved actor through one of the hardest times in his life. After portraying the wholesome Beau Duke on the hit series The Dukes of Hazard, Schneider suffered heartbreak when his third wife, Alicia Elaine, recently passed away from breast cancer at 53 years old. Join Faxverse as we explore not just the highs and lows of a passionate romance, but the raw, unfiltered journey of a man grappling with the tragic loss of his beloved. Early Fame and First Marriage John Schneider's rise to fame was meteoric when he landed the role of Beau Duke on the smash hit series The Dukes of Hazard in 1979 at 18 years old. As the show took off into massive popularity, so did Schneider's celebrity status skyrocket. Playing the wholesome, adventure-seeking Beau Duke catapulted him into heartthrob status and his posters were plastered on the walls of fans across America. During the height of his fame on The Dukes of Hazard, which enjoyed a successful run from 1979 to 85, John was living the high life of parties, premieres, and rubbing elbows with the Hollywood elite. It was during this wildly successful period that Schneider married his first wife, Tawny Godin, in 1983. Godin, formerly Tawny Little, was an up-and-coming newscaster in L.A. who had been crowned Miss America in 1976. Drawn together by their similar ages, levels of fame, and magnetic attraction, the two tied the knot. At the time, it seemed like a perfect match, uniting two gorgeous, talented, and highly popular celebrities who looked destined for even greater success, together and separately. But the marriage was not meant to go the distance. After three years, their relationship ended in 1986. While the disillusion of his first marriage must have been painful, Schneider was still riding high on his celebrity status from the Dukes of Hazard during the late 80s. Second Marriage and Messy Divorce After recovering from the demise of his first marriage, John Schneider found love again with his second wife, Ellie Castle. The two tied the knot in 1993 and went on to have a daughter together, Karis, while Schneider also became a father figure to Ellie's three children from a previous marriage. For over two decades, it appeared John had found a stable family life with Ellie away from the glare of the tabloids. But behind closed doors, there was inner turmoil. Eventually, the relationship unraveled and Ellie filed for divorce in 2014, setting off a tremendously bitter legal battle that dragged on for years. What followed was a contentious feud over money, property, and custody that played out publicly as Ellie and Schneider slung accusations and counter-accusations against one another. Ellie claimed Schneider owed her spousal support and had hidden away assets to avoid payments. Schneider maintained his ex-wife was trying to bleed him dry unfairly. The dispute escalated dramatically in 2018 when Schneider was sentenced to three days in jail for failing to pay Ellie over $150,000 in owed alimony. His refusal to pay up was interpreted as willful defiance of court orders. Schneider was also mandated to complete community service. While he was known for playing the good guy on screen, John's defiant stance against his ex-wife's financial demands painted him in a negative light. The sensational details of their messy divorce proceedings became tabloid fodder. Even more tragically, the toxic feud caused Schneider's relationship with his children from the marriage to fracture. As they sided with their mother, communication broke down until they had become completely estranged from their father. It wasn't until 2019 that Schneider and Ellie finally reached a settlement in their epic divorce battle. He agreed to pay Ellie $25,000 a month and also provide a portion of his Screen Actors Guild pension. After so many years of fighting, the resolution brought relief, but much of the damage had already been done. Schneider was now isolated from his own kids and carrying the stigma of a bitter divorce. Finding Love Again After enduring the emotionally draining divorce from his second wife, Ellie, John feared he may never find romantic happiness again, but that changed in 2015 when he crossed paths with Alicia Elaine. Elaine was a fellow actor and film producer who owned her own production company, Maven Entertainment. When she and Schneider met, they felt an instant connection that soon flourished into love. Schneider had found someone he could be truly himself with. The relationship offered a refuge where the two creative spirits could collaborate and dream together. As a producing team, Schneider and Elaine began working on various small-budget film projects which rejuvenated them both artistically and brought them closer emotionally. Their passion for filmmaking and shared dedication was a strong bond that solidified their love. 
Elaine provided the support, strength, and inspiration that Schneider needed after feeling battered and bruised from his past failed marriages. With Elaine, Schneider could genuinely smile and laugh again. In 2019, he made the announcement that he and Alicia were engaged. After four years together, they officially tied the knot in April of that year in an intimate barn ceremony in Louisiana. Finally getting his fairy tale ending after so much heartbreak filled Schneider with enormous gratitude. Elaine was more than his wife, she was his true soulmate and creative muse. The two were inseparable as they continued creating music and movies hand in hand. Schneider felt he could conquer anything with Elaine by his side. Tragically, their blissful union would be cut short by hardship once again. Coping with grief and hoping to reconnect with children In February 2023, John Schneider suffered the devastating loss of his beloved wife Alicia at just 53 years old after her four-year battle with breast cancer. Having found such profound happiness and meaning with Alicia after two failed marriages, her passing left Schneider absolutely grief-stricken. In social media tributes after her death, Schneider called the loss unimaginable sorrow, stating that Alicia was the very fabric of his soul and that life without her felt incomprehensible. Each day without his soulmate feels like a gaping wound for Schneider. Making the grieving process even more difficult is Schneider's continued estrangement from the three children he adopted during his second marriage, Leah, Chasen, and Karis. The contentious divorce soured his relationship with the children who sided with their mother in the legal battle. Schneider has not given up hope of one day reconciling and restoring closeness with his kids after so many years apart. Beneath his public persona, the compounding grief of losing his wife and still being disconnected from his children has utterly devastated him. Each day is a profound struggle to simply put one foot in front of the other without his better half and his children but he continues to hold on to faith that his kids will one day reach out when they're ready. Until then, he copes with his sorrow minute by minute, taking comfort from supportive fans who feel compassion for the long, winding journey he's traveled on. Honoring Alicia's Memories While the grief of losing his soulmate Alicia feels insurmountable, John has found one flicker of solace. He's created a new album as a musical tribute to honor her vibrant spirit and their powerful love story. Titled We're Still Us, the album features 12 poignant songs written by Schneider as he attempts to process the deep void left by Alicia's passing. Schneider confessed it had hurt terribly to write and sing, acknowledging the profound sadness he felt when reminiscing about precious moments with the love of his life. Though Alicia is physically gone, the messages conveyed in John's vulnerable vocal performances ensure her radiant light continues shining. Now it's time to hear from you. What are your thoughts on John Schneider's tumultuous love life? Let us know in the comments section below.